Thank you all so much for being with us this morning as we celebrate the completion of another Habitat uh, for Humanity home here in our community. Uh, this is the 869th home that Habitat has built throughout our area. And uh, we're just so, so, so excited for the Smith family today uh, as we, uh, we celebrate the completion of their home and, uh, and Stephanie and Thomas receive those keys and get to walk in the front door for the first time. So uh, on behalf of Habitat for Humanity, thank you for being with us today. Uh, my name is Mike Sutton and I serve as the president and CEO for the organization. Um, and uh, I, I just, I, these are the, the best 15 minutes of the day when we get to celebrate with a homeowner uh, who has gone through the whole journey uh, to, to get to the day where they receive their keys. And so let me tell you a little bit about what Stephanie's done uh, to get to today. Stephanie had to go through a, uh, a screening process with the Habitat program that looks at everything from credit, uh, employment background, uh, you know, screenings, all kinds of stuff. We go out and do a home visit, uh, interviews. Um, and so it's a pretty rigorous process to get actually into the Habitat program. But once she was accepted into the program, she was required to put in 350 sweat equity hours. Uh, now those sweat equity hours are performed on Habitat homes as well as the home of her own. Uh, and she got to work alongside our friends at Raymond James for the last few weeks. Um, and she, again, she was required to do 350 hours. She actually completed 473 and a half hours. <laughs> got to make sure we get that half in there. In addition to the uh, sweat equity hours, she was also required to complete 32 home buyer education classes. Now those education classes are really what we consider the success of the Habitat program because it really does teach the homeowner candidates everything they need to know about owning their own home. So uh, about 10 of those classes are, are focused around the financial aspect of owning a house. But then we teach them all kinds of things like how to be a good neighbor, fire and safety, home repair and maintenance. Uh, so those classes really set the family up to be successful. So now after all of those classes are completed and all that sweat equity, Stephanie's purchasing this house from Habitat with a zero interest mortgage. That zero interest mortgage is what will guarantee the affordability of her home. Um, and so on behalf of Habitat for Humanity, Stephanie and Thomas, congratulations and welcome home. Uh, we are here in the Leoman community, which has become a, uh, a focus area of habitats. Uh, in the last four years, we've built 50 homes just within the Leoman community. Um, and uh, you can see we have 12 that are under construction in some capacity right uh, next to us. Uh, and that's all possible thanks to our friends at Pinellas County and the Pinellas County Housing Finance Authority. Uh, I want to introduce Catherine Driver. I know she's here. Catherine. Catherine, come on up. Um, Catherine's organization made these properties of, uh, available to Habitat. Um, and uh, Catherine, come up and say a few words. Thank you, Mike. Um, I just wanted to say the Housing Finance Authority of Pinellas County is very proud to have partnered with Habitat for Humanity on this home, the other homes and many of the homes within the Lillman community, as well as partnering with Pinellas County, who used their penny for Pinellas surtax dollars to acquire the land for all of these homes. They, the land's been put in by, into a land trust that we administer that will um, keep these homes affordable for 99 years. So that also, in addition to having 0% interest rate mortgages, really helps keep these homes affordable. So we congratulate you on your home and all your hard work. And I did want to also recognize Lolita Stone from my office. She works with all of the homeowners, understanding how the ground lease program works. And um, we're just very thankful for all the work you do. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. Uh, we're extremely thankful at Habitat for our partnership with the Pinellas County Sheriff's Office. This is unique because Stephanie actually works for the Sheriff's Office in their communications department. And so uh, here representing Sheriff Bob Galtieri uh, is Sergeant Dan DeFrancisco. Good morning, everyone. Yes, this is special. Um, so uh, on behalf of Sheriff Bob Gualteri, I want to welcome the Smith family, Stephanie and her son, uh, to the community. And uh, we're just so excited uh, that she's on our team as well. Uh, and, and she mentioned she worked midnight. So 
if anybody doesn't know about working midnights and then trying to put 400 and plus uh, sweat hours in, that's quite a feat. So congratulations, Stephanie, on behalf of Pinellas County Sheriff's Office. Thank you. Stephanie's actually sleeping right now, standing up, so <laughs> trying to get her rest. Um, at every Habitat Home dedication, all 869 of them that have come before you, uh, one consistent has been the presentation of the Bible. Uh, at Habitat, we find that the, we feel the Bible is the foundation for which the family establishes their residency here. It also has all of life's answers found between those two covers. And so uh, we have Todd St. John Fulton, who's our chief uh, uh, people and culture officer at Habitat, and he's here to present you with your Bible. Todd. Hello, everybody. Uh, uh, I want to start by saying uh, something that uh, Kevin Dorsey on our team says often that the Bible is the basic instructions before leaving Earth. And as Mike said, it's the foundation with which you uh, start your family and, and bring into this home. So uh, on behalf of Habitat and all of our team and uh, supporters, we want to uh, present you with this Bible. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Absolutely. As Todd mentioned, Kevin always says basic instructions before leaving Earth. And he would say that at every dedication. It took me about two years to realize he was spelling out Bible. So, uh, yeah, took me a little bit, took me a little bit. Uh, another item that we present at every Habitat Home Dedication is the hammer. Uh, the hammer is symbolic of all the volunteer hours that go into building a home. It takes about a thousand hours of volunteer labor to build a Habitat house. And we know that every time you pick up this hammer, you will be reminded of all that sweat equity you put in. So here, uh, representing Raymond James Bank, uh, he's also our board treasurer at Habitat for Humanity. Ken Janelle's here to present you with your hammer. Good morning, everybody. Uh, as Mike said, I'm Ken Janelle, the chief financial officer of Raymond James Bank, also a board member of Habitat. Uh, Raymond James and Raymond James Bank have uh, had a partnership with Habitat for over two decades now, where we have now purchased, I believe, over three, or we have financed over 350 of the uh, Habitat for Humanity homes, and providing a 0% interest mortgage. Um, and so it's, and it's a great partnership, and we you know, look forward to you know, financing more over the years as we continue to support the community. Um, my colleague Chris and I were trying to decide which was cooler to present the keys or the hammer. You know, the keys are obviously the most important thing because that gets you in the home, but the hammer is really a, a critical piece of this whole mission. Um, you know, the, the volunteer hours and the sweat equity is Mike referenced to. And, you know, we have the, the crew here that helps, you know, build the house. We have the volunteers, see my bank colleagues that uh, we have put this sod down here a few weeks ago, which, you know, when we came here, usually the sod takes a couple hours, but when we looked at the size of this lot, we're like, I think we're going to be here for a while. So we're here all, all through uh, till 2 p.m., but it was a great time, and we enjoyed working with Stephanie on that. So, you know, this Stephanie this and Thomas, this uh, hammer is symbolic of all of those hours that you put in, and every time you hammer in a nail to put up a picture, you can think of us and think of us sweating, putting down all this sod. <laughs> so here you go. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Ken. I want to take a moment and recognize we have a bunch of our uh, construction field staff out here today who actually lead our volunteer crews on a daily basis. Um, and so uh, the, the great thing about our team uh, is the patience and the understanding that they have for working with unskilled labor on a regular basis. And so I, I just want to take a moment and just recognize them. They do such a phenomenal job of carrying out our mission every day, working alongside volunteers and, and homeowner candidates. And so thank you all uh, for all the work that you do on a regular basis uh, to, to help the Habitat mission. <laughs> Stephanie, if you see something wrong with the house, call them. Anything out of place. Um, and by the way, Ken, the grass looks great. It's really taken, so good job. Um, we are extremely fortunate for our partnership with Raymond James. Uh, they have been um, really uh, a transformational partner for Habitat. Um, as, as Ken mentioned, uh, financing over 350 of our homes over the years. 
They also uh, come out on a regular basis and swing a hammer with us. Um, most companies that come out and work alongside and sponsor a house put in somewhere around two to 300 um, volunteer hours. They actually completed 650 plus hours on this house alone. Um, which really kind of speaks to their commitment to the Habitat mission and their commitment to community. And so we are just so thankful for Raymond James and everything they continue to do, not only for Habitat for Humanity, but for so many countless organizations throughout uh, Pinellas County and throughout the Bay Area um, and really throughout the country. Um, we know that our organization is stronger and better today because of that longtime partnership. And so we cannot thank Raymond James enough. Uh, representing Raymond James today uh, and here to present you with your keys is Chris Majeski. Like Ken, he also serves on our board of directors at Habitat for Humanity um, and he has a few words to say and he, I think he's, he better have the keys. We can't get in. Chris, come on up. I do have the keys. I do have the keys. So good morning. This is, uh, this is quite the mic set up here. I feel like I could go mobile. There's three different ones there you go. here, right? But uh, it is fantastic to see everybody here today. It is, uh, it's a leap day too, right? So uh, who doesn't love a bonus day to make uh, this day even more special and memorable for, uh, for all of you? Um, as Mike mentioned, I'm Chris Majeski. I'm part of the Raymond James family. I'm also blessed to be part of the the board with Habitat. Uh, I'm also the chair of the Home Services Committee, which looks at candidates and makes recommendations to the, the board. And so the only reason why that, uh, that means anything is it's a little bit special for me because I see everything from the application to the keys. Uh, and that, uh, that journey, right? And everybody on the journey, including people passing by, uh, and we'll we'll get to the the keys in a uh, in a in a minute. But uh, I did want to thank everybody for being out here today on on your special day. Um, Raymond James has given back to the communities where we live and work for over 60 years. For the last 20 years, we've partnered closely with Habitat for Humanity, and this is our. 14th fully sponsored home build with Pinellas and Pasco uh, Habitat. Uh, so pretty cool. Um, I, uh, I am not a numbers guy like Ken, but I do like numbers when they, uh, when they tell a story. And so over the last two months, we've had over 80 folks out here volunteering, over 650 hours, right? Um, working on all parts of the house, both inside and out. Uh, I will say uh, a big thank you again to the Habitat crew who make sure that, uh, that you have a beautiful and stable house. They, uh, they look after all of us and make sure that we're, uh, we're achieving that, uh, that, that goal. Um, so the keys, right? Uh, Ken and I do have this thing every year. Uh, I do think that uh, um, candidly, the hammer, if you're a Marvel fan, it's kind of cool. It's Thor, right? Um, but you can't get through the door without the keys, right? And when you look out here today, when you think about everybody who contributed to getting you to this day, I hope you remember all the people that are in your corner, that you are never alone, you have never been alone, and you won't be going forward. And so as I hand over the keys to you, I just want to thank you. God bless you on your new chapter. I can't wait to see the Christmas tree in your uh, <laughs> yes. in your window. It will come soon yes. enough. Yes. Enjoy. Thank you. Thank, thank you, both. you very much. Yes. Thank you. My turn. Your turn. <laughs> Okay, good morning. Uh, thank you everyone for coming out and being a part of our special day. Without you, Thomas and I would not be standing here. First, I would like to thank Raymond James, our home sponsor, for choosing our family, along with the hundreds of volunteer hours spent on our forever home, Raymond James has provided a 30-year mortgage at 0% interest. Hope and stability are now what I feel knowing I have signed my last lease. Each person Thomas and I encountered at Habitat has made this endeavor a positive experience. Maureen, 
Our homeowner partner has been with us each step of the way. Mike, Brian, James, and Dalton, you were so patient with me while I worked my sweat equity in the warehouse. Thank you to everyone at Habitat for Humanity for supporting my dream. Thank you to our friends and family for always standing beside us through it all. Landlords require you to earn three times the monthly rent to qualify. Because of this, I have been unable to move while my rent continued to grow each year. Yesterday, I was paying $2,349 a month renting a two bedroom, two bath apartment in Clearwater. Today, my life will forever be different. For so long, I have felt a constant pit of worry that is now gone. Each of you have done that for me. Thank you. Stephanie, congratulations. You have set an amazing example for Thomas. We're so proud of you. Uh, you have worked really, really hard to get to today. Um, every single one of these Habitat home dedications are special because every family comes from a different place. Uh, but the one thing that is, uh, is absolutely amazing is we know your life will forever change as you open that front door for the first time. So uh, thank you for allowing all of us to be a part of this this morning. Congratulations on the completion of our program. Uh, now, uh, every time you make that mortgage payment, you're actually building wealth for your future and for Thomas's future. Um, and it's no longer going into a landlord's po pocket. So congratulations and welcome home. All right, so before we open that front door and have you all come on in and check it out, we're gonna say a blessing over the home. And so I'm gonna ask Kevin Dorsey. Kevin is a Habitat staff member. He also received the keys to his home three years ago. So he is a Habitat homeowner as well. Uh, he's going to say a blessing over the home. Come on up and find a place to lay your hand on the house, uh, and uh, we'll bless this house and then get inside. Congratulations, Stephanie. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Room up on the floor. Yeah. <laughs> There's room up here as well if somebody wants to come up. All right. Let us bow our heads. It's a beautiful day. Oh, thank you, Lord. Dear God, first and foremost, we just want to say thank you. We thank you first for covering us last night, guiding us all here safely today for this beautiful occasion for Stephanie and her son. We thank you for the dedication that she had to be able to persevere and be here today. Lord, we thank you because we don't take nothing for granted that you do because we know without you, none of this is even possible. We thank you for using Habitat as a vessel to continue to change lives, Father God. We thank you for the volunteers, the sponsors, construction, anyone that had a hand on this home and on this day today. Lord, we truly just say thank you. And Lord, we come to you asking you to please bless this family, to bless everyone at the sound of my voice, um, that Stephanie and Thomas never need or want for anything, and that you cover them, keep them safe from any harm and any danger. So again, we thank you for your grace and your mercy, your favor, your love, your joy, your peace. In Jesus' name we all pray. Amen.